Hey, what's up, y'all? So, oh, yeah, I am doing this from my car. So, today is day 35, and today we went to range 13. And man, uh, it was good, it was fun. So, like I said again, this week is all range, we're doing nothing but range, and uh, we're probably not gonna get our modules until Friday, which is day 37, right? Oh, uh, yeah, around that time of day 38, but uh. Yeah, so this week we just been going on the range. Yesterday was like I said, it was zeroing and uh grouping. I just showed you how I did, right? Like I said, I'm not good in zeroing, but grouping I can group the hell out of a lot of things, right? Um uh, but um uh, so I, I'm good at qualifying. So I'm not saying that I have to be uh, you know, arrogant or or cocky. Uh I, I just do better at qual uh qualifying. Right? I don't qual with the highest, but I just qual. <laughs> so uh remember you just need 23 uh so here are the tips i'm gonna give you uh the first the first uh round that you go in take it as if you're doing a real qual but the first uh table run you do is a freaking uh a familiarization meaning you're just trying to familiarize yourself with the transition from standing to unsupported unsupported to uh prone supported from prone support to kneeling and kneeling to standing supported and that way you can also visualize where the targets are going to be when you go on your second table which is the qual qual one that's that's one you need to qualify right and once you do all that everybody goes through you will then do a uh another uh a briefing a read from the senior drill once the senior drill does a briefing then like you know there that th this time there will only be safeties and the dsl however they will not guide you they will not you know assist you saying there's a target there or there's a target here right so what key thing to remember is every transition is uh when you go from the first target is always going to be your, your the 50 on your right which is your standing uh unsupported and when you go to um unsupported prone the next transition is okay remember this the next transition is when all four targets stand up when you know all those four targets stand up, that means it's time to transition from unsupported to prone supported, right? Now, the next three targets that stand up together at the same time, that means that it's time to go from from uh, prone supported to kneeling, all right? Now, the last transition, the last transition is the same thing. The, whatever targets that populate the same time three times, go straight into the standing right so one thing about this this range is good this is probably one of the best sorry i'm in my parking lot well uh, this range is good the only thing i'll say is the 300 and the 250 is kind of hard to see because it blends in with the green line of the wood wood lawn but uh besides that like uh e eventually if you did good in zero or you did all the basic fundamentals like you were told and taught yesterday or you know the day prior to this qual day it should be fine However, if you're not, uh, if you have a hard time transitioning or whatever, it's there's no shame in doing remedial training or, or stepping to the uh, and talking to your DSL, like your or your DSL instructor of your class, saying, "Hey, I, I might need like uh, I might not go this round, but the next round uh, I'll go." But I just need to work on my transitions. All right. Uh, another thing, they always tell you, you know, like you know, put it on safe or you know. Um, you know fire semi and safe semi but sometimes a like like in the heat of the battle or at the heat of the moment if you're shooting you're shooting a target maybe you can't think maybe you can't juggle mines and do two or three things at once if you're if, if your fire is on fire if you go on safe when you transition that's great if you do not don't pause and think because if you pause and think you're not wasted two uh, five to ten seconds however long it takes you to think and now you missed your target now you don't qual, you know what I mean? And if you're one of those uh, amazing shooters, you, you want to shoot the 300, go for it. But if you miss that 300 one time, just avoid shooting the rest of the 300. Cause, you know, it's good to qual. And trust me, just getting counseling sucks because now you got to wait for everybody to shoot. And then you got to do rem remedial training, which again, nothing against none of the, whoever has the remedial training, but I'm saying now you have to wait. And man, we waited a long day, not because of uh, on the remedial train, just because it was just a long day today. Like range is a long day, no matter what. And so I recommend like remember those transition spots. 
versus standing uh, unsupported and you go straight to unsupported uh, prone again the next transition is after four targets populace uh, simultaneously at the same time knock them out if you can and then phew, change your magazine go to uh prone supported change your magazine after the last three uh popular uh, targets populates and then go transition to the new again the last three three targets populates transition to the standing uh supported prone if you're one of those uh guys who are good at uh from a unit i'm telling you this is the standard of you got to change your magazines. You can't add 20 or 30 rounds in your first clip. It's going to be 10. You're going to get four magazines, or if you have four magazines, good. Then you're going to get 10 rounds for each. All right? And remember, you're in... Uh, so, uh, one thing I should have highlighted in my yesterday's video was that because you're at this range, once you ground your assault pack, make sure your phone is in your assault pack or whatever your DSO says, your phone is in your room or your barracks or your car or the assault pack, but don't take your phone out or any of your smart watches and three what you call it um uh take all the snacks anything you need because you're gonna be waiting like make sure you bring your study material like a prt like i was saying in my previous video like from a uh prt uh, P, uh pre preparation drill all the way till uh climbing drill uh sorry recovery drill but uh, besides that, like, you know, just uh, I just want to give a shout out to my DSLs. Uh, she knows who, he, who she is for uh, helping me out throughout the whole uh, transition. And to the DSL who was, in, who was on duty this week, you know, thank you for looking out for us, trying to get us in, get us back in our rooms or get us back in the house as early as we can. But, yeah, besides that, uh, tomorrow we're going to be doing uh, a zero and grouping it again, but this time with the CCO. So, yeah. But other than, other than that, if you have any questions, please, uh, or questions or comments, just let me know. All right. That's it. So have a good day.